So you bought a duplex or a townhouse and surprise, surprise, it's not soundproof whatsoever and you are quite disappointed, which makes a lot of sense because these units go for a lot of money and a lot of people are surprised that you can hear quite well what's going on in the unit right beside you. So in this video, I'll show you how to soundproof the wall that's between the two units in a duplex or if you live in a duplex where the unit is on top and one below, I'll also show you how to soundproof that if you live on the top unit, because let's face it, that's the easiest place to soundproof the, I guess the floor or the ceiling, whichever it is for you. It's if you're on top, because if you're at the bottom, you have to literally rip off the ceiling and that's a little bit more than a DIY job. But if you're on top, then it, it should be it should be good. Okay, so before we start on the positive note, you don't have to soundproof a window or you don't have to soundproof a door because it's just the wall that's separating the two units. So that's a good thing because the most common problems, of course, in soundproofings are the huge holes in the walls, which are the windows and the doors. The only holes that we have to really worry about in this instance are the electrical outlets. Now, there's two ways of doing this, and this really depends on how much soundproofing that you need, because if you're only trying to get rid of voices, maybe loud TV, but not that loud, we can go with option one. Now, if the sound that you're trying to eliminate sounds more like this. Now, if the sound that you're trying to eliminate sounds more like this, then you'll want to watch this video because in that video, I cover more on taking off the drywall and going a step further than what we'll be doing in this video. But in this video, we'll be using a product called Mass Loaded Vinyl, not only for the wall, but also for if you live on a unit up top and you want to soundproof the floor. Now, Mass Loaded Vinyl is a product that I talk about a lot in my videos. I'll have links in the description below of everything I talk about in this video. Now, what I like about Mass Loaded Vinyl is that it works both for sound deadening and for soundproofing. It's a rubbery, very heavy, very dense compound, and that's what makes it good for both blocking sound and absorbing sound. Now, there's two different types of Mass Loaded Vinyl that you can buy. There is the one pound and the two pounds. Now, of course, the two pound Mass Loaded Vinyl will work a lot better than the one pound, however, you have to realize that this stuff is extremely heavy. One roll of this can weigh easily two, 300 pounds. If you're working alone, then you might want to buy rolls that are maybe 10 square foot or 25 square foot at the most. But if you have help, then go ahead and buy a bigger roll because the bigger the roll, the more money you will save. All right, so what you will need is mass loaded vinyl and some drywall. Now, the drywall that I would use is just simply five eight inch drywall. It works a lot better for soundproofing than the typical half inch drywall that most people and builders put on walls. So what you'll wanna do is just add the mass loaded vinyl on the wall. If you're not sure how to install mass loaded vinyl, video right there will explain to you exactly step by step how to install the mass loaded vinyl. Now, after you've installed the mass loaded vinyl, it's now time to add your layer of drywall. But if you want to go a step further and you don't really want to spend too much money to add acoustical compound, like something like green glue acoustical compound, you can go and use something that is a lot cheaper and that works just the same almost. Now, this also helps with the mass loaded vinyl because of everywhere that you've cut, or not really cut, but every pieces of mass loaded vinyl that you've joined together, it's not going to be completely airtight. So adding carpet glue all over the mass loaded vinyl is going to help not only seal all those gaps between the mass loaded vinyl, but it will also add a little bit of soundproofing element between the mass loaded vinyl and the layer of drywall. Now, I talk a lot more in depth and show you the difference between green glue, acoustical compound, and carpet glue. Now, there are different types of carpet glues, and there are some that works a lot better in this type of setup. As I said, links are down below. You can also pay a little bit more and go with an actual sound dampening drywall. Now, these types of drywall, they're basically consisting of two slabs of sheetrock with 
some type of acoustical compound in between. So this works almost like the same as sandwiching acoustical compound in between two layers of drywall. Now, it does work a little bit better in some instances than the 5 8 inch drywall. However, you will be paying two, three times more than the 5 8 inch drywall in some cases. So it all depends, again, how much soundproofing you're looking for and if it's worth actually paying more for the drywall. Now, also, if you only have a small wall to soundproof, then yes, I would recommend going with the more expensive drywall. However, if you have a lot of surface to cover, then just going with the 5 8 inch, you will be satisfied. And adding the mass loaded vinyl and the acoustical compound, carpet glue, in between, it'll make a huge difference. Now, after all of that is complete, you will notice a significant reduction in noise if you've installed everything the way it should be installed. All right, so now let's go upstairs. If you're living upstairs and you want to soundproof the floor from the people that are living downstairs, this is a lot easier, as I said, than if you are downstairs, you'd have to rip the entire ceiling. Now, if you're upstairs, the only thing that you'll need to do is remove the baseboards and remove the floor and then roll your mass loaded vinyl onto the floor. Now it's good to add some acoustical compound or I guess carpet glue between the floorboards and the mass loaded vinyl. What this will do, as I said, it will add a little bit of soundproofing, but really what it will do, it will seal the cracks between the two pieces of mass loaded vinyl that you roll onto the floor. Now after that's done, you reinstall your floor. Now, a lot of people might not be able or might not want to actually rip off the floor and do this, but this is a lot more DIY territory than being downstairs and ripping the ceiling. Yes, ripping the ceiling off is completely DIY for a lot of people, but being upstairs and just working on the floor is a lot less tricky than removing the drywall because removing drywall from ceiling and having to reinstall new drywall, a lot of people don't realize that if you're not a few people doing that, it is quite challenging. And a lot of people don't realize that not having a drywall panel lift that lifts it precisely right to the ceiling at the exact location where it should be can be quite tricky if you're just doing it by yourself. So yeah, doing the floor can be a lot less tricky and a little bit more DIY. All right, so there you have it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. In the next coming weeks, I'll do my best to answer every single questions. And after that, I just try to answer questions daily. Don't forget to click the like for the Google algorithm. And until next time.